right, welcome back to another video as always do me a favor drop a like subscribe leave a comment and check out some of the other content on the channel we do a lot of great basketball videos we do quizzes we do reactions we talk about trades just stuff going on in the nba world and with that being said today's video we have something different because i don't usually like pay attention to stuff like this but jerry west out of all people and jj reddick are having a disagreement now if you don't know jj reddick uh has been saying stuff about uh the players in like the 50s and 60s and how like they were plumbers and stuff like that and, and the level of competition wasn't the same and jerry west as a person that played in that era kind of said some things that he was clapping back at jj reddick so we will come here we're gonna check it out and i hope y'all enjoyed this so let's hop straight into the video all right so here's the clip it's only about two minutes long so it shouldn't be like too crazy but this is an interview i guess he was on like some radio show and he was asked about what jj reddit has said because like i said jj reddit has been uh one of the main people that was uh comparing uh levels well competition in different generations now do i agree or disagree with what was being said like i disagree with uh jj's reddit uh like comparing different generations because i don't think you should do that because like you can never truly find out like who would strive and what error but then again back back in uh back in that era nba players did have other jobs so was jj so like what was jj ready saying was that really like anything bad well jerry west thought it was so let's see what he got to say jj reddick current player who just recently retired said that bob Cousy played against uh, firemen and, and plumbers and Bob came on and well he, was he did pleased and you know you you played in that era and those guys set the table for us uh, to be where we are today and I was just interested in your thoughts on on comments like that about your generation and the generations that that paved the way well that like Jerry was like like bro are you serious right now that's what he's looking like right now well, um, obviously the game is completely different the athletes are completely different and I know JJ uh, just a little bit. He's a very smart kid and everything. But tell me what his career looked like. Ooh. What did Whoa. he do that was that determined games? He averaged what? He averaged twelve points a game in the league. Dang, that's crazy. Uh, what did JJ average? Somewhere along the way, numbers count. At that point in time, the players aren't what they used to be. Um, JJ certainly wasn't going to guard the elite players. And so you can nitpick anyone. And I'm, I'm not, the only reason I'm talking about him is because he was not an elite player, but he was a very good player. But he had a place on the team because of his ability to shoot the ball. Okay. But, uh, those players at that era, and, and again, that was when I started to see the, the difference in athleticism. Um, you know, my era, I was an athlete way before my time. I had a huge vertical. Um, and like, that's one thing I always said, like I said it in, in the beginning, but it's like, you can't really compare eras because as you understand at the time, those players were like the peak athleticism is like those were like the best of the best players well considered the best of the best uh in terms of like athletes at the time so you can't really compare it like you never know uh, like how they might do in this gen i mean in this uh generation or in this era it's like you just can't do it probably no one in the league was was much faster than me and certainly the competitive part of it i would put my myself among any player that played the game today also winning is all matter that's what drove me and i suddenly got better every year we didn't have the facilities to get better we had to work in the summers to support our families but aj should be very thankful that he's made as much money as he's made and bob Cousy, who i played against a couple of years not very long um I just think it's very disrespectful myself. Well, wow. all right. So let's talk about it. Uh, Jerry West said what he had to say, and he said he felt like it was a form of disrespect, which I don't like agree with. But like I do see where he's coming from and where JJ is coming from. So like essentially what JJ said, it, it holds some truth. As Jerry West did say, they had to work in the summer to provide for their families. But at the same time, I, I disagree with JJ and that like you can't really uh, 
like compare errors or cross people with different errors because like i'm a bit advocate of that because i like in all these debates about like oh uh, uh, like how what player would play in this era and like how would they do and stuff like that i just don't think it's true because i agree that jj was right these people were playing like I was like they were part-time basketball players they had to support their families like they literally had to go be firemen and plumbers and stuff like that so what so what jj said like it literally holds some truth but i see where jerry west is coming from because like as a person like him that played in that era it's like you can not tell him that like and like you can't say it wasn't due to the lack of ability because you understand at the time these players were considered the best of the best but comparing players in the modern era uh to players from back then who had who, who were part-time basketball players versus players who literally like their whole life is basketball you can conclude and just like you can like come up with the fact that modern era players are more likely to reach their potential which will cause them to be better than players that did play and had to work other jobs and stuff like that but then again i'm not really picking sides here because I, like I said, I do disagree with comparing errors and players and stuff like that. But at the same time, there it, like it, it holds some truth. What JJ said, it did hold some truth. But anyway, uh, y'all let me know or like y'all opinion on all this. Because like again, it's really a pointless argument. Because like who really cares at the end of the day? But or, like y'all let me know in the comments uh, what y'all got to think. And with that being said, drop a like, subscribe, leave a comment. I'm gonna catch you in this video. We out of here. Peace.